Hi guys, Juice here. I am here to film a new video for you guys today. Today's video is going to be me talking about all the books I read in the year of 2021 so far. It is almost the end of June. Well, it's about to be the end of June. And I read 71 books according to my Goodreads challenge. 71 books out of 200, which is kind of uh, not the goal I wanted to be at by mid-year. So I might change my reading goal from 200 books to 150 maybe because I can do a hundred I just been reading a lot of big books this year um, and you'll see that throughout this video um, I have my notebook in front of me so I'll be looking down a lot and yeah I'm just gonna get started um, and there's not gonna be any summaries about these if you wanted to hear my thoughts and feelings on each of these books check out my wrap-ups which I'll leave all of them down below if you want to check them out um, so the first book I read in the year 2021 was How the King of Elfim Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black. This is a short story novella, part of the Cruel Prince series. I got this beautiful edition from Owl Crate, and I give this one a 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read another Owl Crate book that I had, and that was Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. This is the uh, newest novel by this author and I really enjoyed it and I give this one four out of five stars Then I read the troll and the princess by Rainbow Rao, I think maybe I'm not too sure who the author of That one is it was a short story novella from Amazon and I didn't really enjoy it. I gave it two out of five stars um, Then I read how it all blew up by Armin Ahmed, I believe uh, that's a YA contemporary story that I borrowed from my library. Loved it. Gave it five out of five stars. Can't wait to read more from this author. Then I read, then I read You Have a Match by Emma Lord. This is an arc that I received from the publishing company, which I still have up here. And I bought myself a finished copy this year, finally. Uh, you Have a Match was a great contemporary story. I feel like it's definitely a perfect summer read. Um, so yeah, five out of five stars. Love this one. Then I read Love and Olives by Jenna Evan Welch. This is the third installment in the Love and Gelato series. I give this one three out of five stars. This was definitely the slowest out of the three books and my least favorite out of the three book. I think my favorite is either is a tie between book one and book two. So I give Love and Olives a three out of five stars. Then I read Becoming by Michelle Obama. I wanted to read this for the longest time and I finally got around to reading it and it was amazing. Five out of five stars, one of my new favorites. Um, then I also have another five out of five star and that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab. I forgot what she goes by for this one. I love this one. Finally was able to read this one this year as well, and I give this one a 5 out of 5 stars. Definitely a new favorite. Um, next book I read was, I actually have this one, <laughs> was da -da -da -da, Ghost of the Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare and Maureen Johnson, Sarah Reese Brennan, Kelly Link, and Robin Wesseman. I really was enjoying this until the last couple of stories, so I think I will give this one a 3 night a three and a half out of five stars uh, which is still a great reading and I love Cassie Clare so I have a couple other of her books on this video today or in this video today I should say um, and then the last book for January that I read was Ray Bearer by Jordan E. Funko I believe and I give this one 4.5 out of five stars it was a really great debut novel that I really enjoyed um, the next month we're going into is February. Obviously in February I managed to read 16 books, which is my best reading month of the whole year so far. Um, the first book was I was kind of disappointed by. Um, oh, I didn't even mention. Also, the last after the, uh, Ray Bear, I managed to read The Wife Between Us by Gary Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Three out of five stars, an uh, adult mystery thriller that I was kind of disappointed by. This was the last book I read in. January. Now going on to February. Um, February I read 16 books so the first book I read was These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I was sadly disappointed by this like I enjoyed it but like pacing was slow and it didn't really pick up until like halfway through so I give this one three out of, three out of five stars. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the sequel because I want to see how the series will wrap up. 
Um, then I have I reread one of my favorite books of the year because I felt super slumpy after that. So I reread The Hate You Give by Andrew Thomas. Gave this five out of five stars. It will forever be a five out of five stars, I think. Um, but it won't be on my favorite list because it is a reread. Then I read Super Fake Love Song by David Yoon. Gave this one three out of five stars. And then I read uh, one of the good ones. I forgot what the author is, but it's like an author duo. I really enjoyed that one, loved it, gave it five out of five stars. It was such a great book. I read their previous work, Dear Haiti, Love Aline, and I loved that one too. So I think this author duo might be a new favorite of mine. Then after that, I read So This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim. This is one of the Twisted Tale novels that I wanted to read as a Cinderella retelling, I believe is what it was. And I was kind of disappointed by that one. I give that one uh, three out of five stars. There's been a lot of three stars in the beginning of the year, but my reading has been better. Um, then I read Happily Ever Afters by Elise Bryant. I give this one three and a half out of five stars. And then finally I can show off uh, Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. I love this one. This is the prequel to The Hate You Give. Five out of five stars. Then I read what another new favorite mine and I spray painted the edges of this and that is Veronica Comics. Five out of five stars. This was the Queer Reads book club pick for the month of February. Loved it. Um, then I read do I have this one? No, I read Across the Green Grass Field by Shauna McGuire, the sixth installment of the Wayward Children series. Give that one four out of five stars. Then I read a new favorite, and I actually buddy read this to my friend Lori, and that was Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Loved this one, gave this one five out of five. Then I read one that I was kind of disappointed by, but I wanted to read this for to support my friend Amanda. Um, I forgot what her channel name is now because she changed it, but I read Serious Moonlight, gave this one three out of five stars, might unhaul this soon. Um, then I read Fence Volume 4, finally, and I loved it. I gave it four out of five stars. Then I read a new, another new favorite book of mine this year, and that was Kingdom of Souls by Raina Barron. Got, gave this one five out of five stars. Then I read Conference of the Birds by Ransom Riggs, the fifth installment of Miss Peregrine's Home for Four Peculiar Children series. Uh, five out of five stars. Love this. Still need to read the finale, and I haven't yet, but hoping to soon. Um, then I read a book that shocked me, and it shocked me so much that I bought the sequel, and that is The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. I believe Josephson, sorry if I virtue that. This is a four out of five stars. What a great debut novel. I was really shocked by how much I would love this one. And then the last book in February I read was The Lives of Saint by Lee Bardugo. I was sadly disappointed by that one as well. I give that one three out of five stars. And then now moving into the month of March. March, oh, that's April. <laughs> Moving into the month of March, I managed to read 13 books, which is fantastic. Um, so the first book was a reread for me. I read this for our Queer Reads book club pick for the month of March. And so that was Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, five out of five stars. Then I read Dry Foot, an arc that I had that was a graphic novel. I was sadly disappointed by this one as well, two out of five stars. Um, then I read As Far As You Take Me by Phil Stamper. I don't own this one, but I want to soon because I loved it so much. I read this. It was an LGBT contemporary novel, five out of five stars. Um, then I buddy read, then I buddy read Graceling by Kirsten Cashore. I buddy read this with my friend Taylor. This audiobook, if you love audiobooks, is full cast. I give five out of five stars for this. But again, since I reread this book, it won't be on my favorite list of the year. Then I had a disappointing read. I'm going to move these up here real quick. And then I had a disappointing read. And that was The Thief by Megan Willen Turner. I sadly didn't like this one. I know I keep saying that throughout the video, 
but like the beginning of the year was kind of rough for me for reading. Uh, I give this one three and a half out of five stars. I might continue on with the series. I haven't decided if I want to or not. Then I read The Truth Project. I forgot who the author of this, uh, but I read this book and I give four out of five stars to this one. Then I finally read A Crystal of Time by Simone Chanier, the fifth installment in the School for Good and Evil art series. And uh, I really enjoyed this, gave this one a four out of five stars. Then I read an Owl Creek book that I got. I believe this was the one for February and I read it in March. And that is The Gilded Ones by N Nemenia Foreman. Uh, I probably butchered that, I'm so sorry. I love this one, five out of five stars. Another five out of five star read for me was A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir. I finally got around to reading this. I still need to read book four and I'm scared to read it because it's a finale, but I love this one, five out of five stars. Then I read, I got these two backwards. Then I read Brightly Woven by Alexander Bracken. This was a graphic novel that everyone has been raving about. I really enjoyed this, give it four out of five stars. Then I read Lore by Alexandra Bracken. I give this one a four out of five stars. She's a favorite author of mine. Uh, love this Greek mythology story. Then I had a book that shocked me that I wasn't, I thought I wasn't gonna enjoy it, but it turns out I really enjoyed it. And that was Incendinary by Zadoria Cadavio, first book in a duology. I give this one four out of five stars. And then I finally managed to read A Vow So Bold and Deadly by Bridget Kemmerer. This was a three out of five stars. I was sadly disappointed by this one. Oh, I knew that was gonna fall. And then in April, I managed to read nine books. Um, I counted A, Vo a Vow So Bold and Deadly as my first book in the month of April. Then I read, Let me get these up, sorry. <laughs> then I read After a Vow So Bold and Deadly. I was like, oh, let me complete another series. So I completed the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Ryden. This is uh, The Tower of Nero, book five, the fifth and final installment, five out of five stars, love this one. Then I had one that I was sadly disappointed by because it's one of my most anticipated reads of the year. And that was Star Wars, The High Republic, Light of the Jedi by Charles Soleil give this one three out of five stars and then I read one that is another Owl Creek book that shocked me and that was Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim I give this one four out of five stars then I read Hollow Pox by Jessica Townsend this is the third installment of the uh Nevermore series I almost forgot what this first book was called I give this one three out of five stars I was disappointed by this one and then I read one that I really enjoyed, and that was Lost in the Neverwoods by Aiden Thomas. I love this one. I can't wait to read Cemetery Voice this month. Five out of five stars for this one. And then I wanted to reread the Runaways graphic novel series by Ray Morrell. So I reread volume one. I loved it as much as I loved it the first time, so I gave it four out of five stars. And then the last book in the month of April that I managed to read was Go the Distance by Jen Catellian. Uh, I give this one a four out of five stars and I can't wait to read more of the Twisted Tales series. And then in eighth, or in May, I managed to read 12 books in the month of May. Let me get these up so it's easier for me. I believe old. May is my most recent wrap up that you guys should have saw on my channel. Um, so in May, I read 12 books with King of Scars. I reread King of Scars by Lee Bardugo, four out of five stars. Then I finally read Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo, the sequel slash finale, five out of five stars, loved it. Um, then another five out of five stars was Hurricane Summers by uh, Asha, I'm probably gonna butcher this last name, but Bromfield, Bromfield, sorry. I love this book. Can't wait to buy a finished copy soon. Uh, then I reread Runaways Volume 2 by Ray Morale. Gave that one three out of five stars. And then I read House of Hollows by Crystal Sutherland. Four out of five stars. 
Then I read Hello, Crew Heart by Maureen Johnson. Kind of disappointed by that one. I give it three out of five stars. And then I read That Way Madness Lies by, edited by Delilah Alder. This is a Shakespeare reimagining of 15 short stories. I gave this one four out of five stars. It wasn't quite a five stars, because again, with every short stories, it won't always be a five out of five star. So that was the reason for this. Um, then I reread Runaway Volume 3, and I love this one more than the sequel, so I give this one 4 out of 5 stars. And then I read Illusionary by Zadoria Cadavio, the sequel slash finale to the Incendiary, to the Hollow Crown duology. First book was Incendiary, and I love this one even more, and I give this one 5 out of 5 stars. Fall. Yep, I knew it. Um, and then I finally managed to read Chain of Gold and I gave Chain of Gold five out of five stars. And then I read um, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I give this one four out of five stars. And then I read Arusha and the City of Gold by Roshani Chakshay. Gave this one four out of five stars. Cannot wait for the finale. And then in June, I managed to read eight books so far. Um, June, I read Reaper of Souls by Raina Barron, the sequel to Kingdom of Souls. Love that one as well. Gave it five out of five stars. Then I read Heartstopper Volume 4, finally. Five out of five stars. Love this. Trigger warnings for suicidal thoughts, uh, eating disorders, and other stuff that I'll talk more about in my actual wrap-up. Um, then I read another new favorite and that is Some Girls Do by Jennifer Dugan, five out of five stars. Then I read Where Dreams Descend and I give this one three and a half out of five stars. And then I read one of my five star prediction this month and that was The Guest List by Lucy Foyle. I give this one four out of five stars. Then I read Runaways Volume 4 by Rainbow Rowell. Loved it, four out of five stars. Then I finally got around to reading The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chuck Forty. I finished this a few days, or last week, and I loved it. Five out of five stars. Uh, and then I reread Volume Runaway, and then I read, ugh, and then I read Runaway Volume 5. Loved it. My favorite in the whole series so far. Five out of five stars. And then I want to show this off in this video because I haven't finished it yet, but I'm like halfway through it. And that is Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. I'm currently halfway through this book. I'm on page 335 out of 656, I think is what it said. Um, so halfway through, hoping to finish it in the next week or so. Uh, definitely before the end of the month because I have a lot of other great books to get to. Uh, but yeah, those are all the books I read so far. Sorry this was such a long video. There was no like script or anything or concept of time for me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to my June wrap up, my June book haul, and my July new releases, TBR, and that's it for coming from me soon. So I have four awesome videos coming for you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll chat with you guys down below. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me soon. And yeah, I'll chat with you guys later. Bye. Mm-hmm.